Genesis chapter 2. Get Genesis chapter 2. Looks like we'd have checked for nothing. $7,500. Too good. Y'all don't care. Y'all didn't get it. Uh, Genesis chapter 2. Let me get glasses on. Um, yeah, we're going to get glasses on. What we're going to talk about is visual for married folks. Practice this on your boo thing. Oh, there's no boo thing if you're listening. I respect that. Amen, Paula. Uh, visual generosity. Visual generosity. Um, that when, not if, when you get married. That does not give you the right to look your worst because because somebody they stuck with you and you don't care no more. I almost said don't give a darn, but I'm saved from that. Okay. Visual. Write this down, ladies. We had a great example. Oh, my goodness. Uh, most men are visual. That's why porn is so successful. Uh, ladies, wives, you are his deliverance from porn. You have a, uh, you have a deliverance anointing. From porn. Because I trust that you can do things a computer can never think of. Don't, I don't need no demo. We already had one strip tease in the church at my anniversary. We don't need no more of those. <laughs> Say it again in English. You are his deliverance from porn. Don't act like you're a very freaky girl. Huh? And clam up. All right? Don't clam up. Uh, even after I have my, my young spankers here with the children, even after you have children, you still freaky. Huh? And once you get to the age where you don't have no more company, Aunt Flo, you just freak out. Freak out? Mm, huh? Right. Well, you basically get down to a couple of sets of draws, and that's it. I ain't checking that. Y'all already nasty. <laughs> Visual generosity. It goes for men, too, right? <laughs> Can't be stanky and expect some love. Call it stanky love. No, you can't do that, <laughs> Right? Gonna get really, get really, it's gonna get really, uh, 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 I said quiet for a minute. Genesis chapter 2, because marriage is honorable. Okay? Uh, look at verse, am I still going? Uh, start at 21. And the Lord saw how it was good for him to be alone, and he had a companion. It wasn't narcotic, too, to read. The greatest, the greatest revelation you could ever have is that woman was made for man and not man for woman. Okay? Once you realize that, you, you, you know, what's somebody say things that are comical? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only you are concerned with your singleness. I know what I teach, and I know God made you for somebody. Now, you can be a 
in disagreement and mess yourself up. But I know you were made for someone. Okay? Yeah, they don't have to be a grace. So don't look about the grace, man. You'll all be narcotic free people. Narcotic free because you look around great. No. They're in the world. Right? For one person. Okay? For one person. And those of you that are married, uh, that's your lifetime goal. Your lifetime goal is I was made for this man, and this man will never regret his choice. Okay? Never. Never. You are consumed with that. Uh, you take advantage. Write this down, ladies. You take advantage of his nature. So whatever heifer roll up on him, she can forget it. She will need three of everything. Because he swear you got more than two hands. Oh, that's that stuff. You can be an octopus. You can finish the rest of it. <laughs> huh? I'm teaching hard already. Huh? So, so you were, you were taken from him. Read. Send one of my uh, 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 daughters a, a scripture to explain the situation. And it talked about husbands not be bitter against your wives. Uh, you ain't got time to marry nobody you're going to be bitter with. All right? So you write to yourself a note. No one will ever be bitter with me. Never. Never. We can disagree, and we can end up doing uh, 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 a Joe love scene. Okay? You'll never be bitter with me. Never. Never. Okay? Read. Okay? So, so read, read it. Who brought her to the man? Right? So God brought her unto the man. All right? So a real man, I don't know what people teach, you know, um, uh, other churches teach, but a real man is praying right now that God bring you to him. See, that's kind of crazy. I don't hear him. You, know, you ain't messing my class up. All right? God, he's, he's praying. You don't know what the situation is, but he's praying. He's praying. That God bring you to him in a second. I told you, Tamika's going to Milwaukee uh, next weekend. I don't know. She, they said she's going to speak. I don't know. Your husband might be right there because you've been praying. Okay? You might be praying. Don't sit here and get discouraged because you can't hear nobody praying. Okay? Right? Read. Right? This is now a part of me. So you, this is old, it's old Hebrew. You're the missing piece to someone. The missing piece. You're not the missing bitter piece. Okay? Say, husbands, do not be bitter with you. You're not the missing bitter piece. Okay? Read. Not W-O-E. Whoa, man. <laughs> you ain't supposed to be nobody's whoa, man. Okay? You can't deliver him from porn and all that crazy stuff. You a whoa, man. He can't introduce you to someone and, and all of a sudden men start praying. That's your wife? Man, you need prayer. You know, when men pray, you got to be a show up booga wooga. <laughs> I got on my favorite plaid shirt that I found yesterday, and I don't care. Read. 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 Read.
taken out of a man. Read. Leave them, leave them, and go replicate. Leave them, leave father and mother. All right? Uh, my, my mother and my grandmother, I think my grandmother had my mother when she was 14. They were very close, talk every day. But my mother wasn't taught. My mother got married. Uh, my stepfather, my, the, other, the other deacon, yeah, that caused a problem in the marriage. I'm supposed to leave. Okay? Supposed to leave. Supposed to leave. Read it again. That's a principle. Therefore, tell a man, leave his father and his mother. So, no matter how close, my mother's birthday, January 13th, mine the 15th. No matter how close, it cannot be no big gift for mama and a little gift for the wife. No mother whose principle will allow, will allow her son to put her above his wife. No one principal, and, and but but you got to watch that while you in the dating uh, data collection, okay? Where and, and here's the reason for that: you, you you're never good enough. You always getting put down, okay? And she's interrupting everything. Don't say amen if I'm talking about you. You understand? No, no, that's a problem. That's a big problem, okay? Uh, uh, what I love, and man, you, your children, those pictures on Facebook, because I'm going to talk about them, are just absolutely beautiful. I love what God is doing in this house. I love what God is doing in this house. Mm -hmm. I think Kenny rather talk to me than his mama. He is brutal. Because he know I ain't going to climb through the telephone line. He don't know she might try. She's brutal. She's bull boy. You talk about a lazy a person that can't stand a lazy man. Huh? You talk about a person who just, man, the thought of a lazy, excuse-making man just makes her sick. Huh? Wow. If he get laid off, he'd have to probably fast to see when he could tell his mama. That's raising somebody right. Huh? Wouldn't y'all have benefited if somebody would have raised their son that way? Instead of that little, little pretty ugly thing that they enabled? I got on my favorite shirt, and I don't care. I found it. Forgot I bought it. It's in a drawer. Read. Okay, now, so the word is, watch this now, Grace, not cleave to someone he married. Your marriage doesn't make you a wife. Okay? You got all the wife scriptures memorized. Uh, uh, B, you ain't even a wife. The difference between being a wife and someone he can legally screw. Ooh, Lord, have mercy. You ain't even a wife. Go out, Jonay. What's the four things? You still got them in your memory bank? Stand up. Embarrass these folks. These folks got notes everywhere. They can't memorize nothing. What is she? And you know what? I have studied a lot. I, I'm reading a book right now. But no one has came from the Hebrew approach. Now, the part I'm going to tell you tonight is very much Hebrew, which is, man, all you uh, uh, unconfessed strippers, you're going to have an excellent night. <laughs> Biblically. Don't go pulling nothing off now. Run it down to what's a wife? Ezer. That word help me is, is, that is the term. And so if you do an outline, you put Ezer and then you put A, B, C, D underneath that. So Ezer is the help me. Okay? And you can spell that M E E T or M E A T. <laughs> no, well, it's. It, <laughs> In, in the revised edition, it probably will be. Okay? You have to know that. Uh, and that's why I, I know that, that's what I dealt with, self-image. Don't marry nobody if you don't like yourself. Don't marry nobody you can't get dressed with, with sunlight. 
Uh, what do you think afternoon delight is? You can't be pulling curtains. You have to like yourself. And watch this now. But yet you don't hear, you don't, you don't, man, man, man. You don't hear no brutal comments, brutal comments that you are the size they met you. And all of a sudden you get married, they got comments. Huh? And, and even after they have your big head child, which has stretched their womb out, you ain't got no commentary. And yet a person has discipline. You understand? No, this is real talk over here. You ain't got no commentary. Uh, one of my friends who died, he was, before he got sick, was sloppy fat, eating pancakes at night. And, then, <laughs> and didn't want his wife to gain. She was a banger. And, and every time she gained 10 pounds, he had something to say. Are you kidding? Look at you spilling all over three seats. Right. <laughs> yeah. I got on my favorite shirt, and I don't care tonight. That's real. That's real. You understand what I'm saying? You ain't got no commentary. I look like I'm 20. Oh, man, you sick people. Huh? That's why those old Stacy Adam, Stacy Adam four-button purple suit wearing, but they can't stand me. And I'm glad because they too ugly to like me. They look terrible. Look like they already did. Look like they're, they're a walking wake. Got on my favorite shirt, and I don't care, all right? Bree? Oh, I'm sorry. Stand up, Janae. That, uh, thank you. Well, what is she? What is that wife? A-Z-A-R, what is she? The strengthening belt, the strengthening belt around his waist, around his waist. So if you pick the right woman, Darnell, she'll come from behind you and grab you, and you won't push your way. Who you push away is someone who's not a wife. You don't grab no one when you owe them an apology. Your hands feel like stone. Huh? Man, I love my Trajan. Man, that little love. And, and, it's, and you know what makes her so beautiful? It's not just her natural beauty. You got that from her mama. Her, what makes her is when she's wrong, I can correct her, and she does it without a soundtrack. Uh, she, she misinterpreted what her dad had sent, and she was hurt. And I'm like, I'm going to talk to him about, you know. And then she said she made a mistake. Man, I ain't, got, I ain't got 10 of them in here. She said, no, he did tell me happy birthday. I said, get that handle. I ain't got no soundtrack, ain't no whatever. That hurt his feelings. And she was wrong. Man, that was the only man, you know that girl been a banger since she was 11. That's the only man that could have protected her. Tracy could have killed somebody over that girl. That girl been built since she was 11. And that was the man who was a hedge around her. That was the man. Oh, come on now. Right, you better get on your feet. That was the man. Any other man, you couldn't have slept. He'd been looking in her bedroom and giving her a hug and hanging around the bathroom. So when you wrong, that's why that man, that boy, I, I would hate to see what cougar would ever try to roll up on that boy when he got a young, luscious thing like that. Did y'all see her in that red dress? Good wriggly wiggly. Are you kidding? He just a grinning? And they got problems, but that's a solver right there. But even if she had all that, if she's non-apologetic, if she's foot man, even that level of beauty gets wiped out. Okay, I thought you wrong. She said, "Oh, she's and, and call me crying. I made a mistake. Uh, he did text me, and I feel so bad. Oh, handle it. Handle that. Learn now. Don't sit there and bake cookies. Here's your favorite pie. I might put it in your face. I won't do that. No, you handle that, huh? Write this down." There's natural beauty, then there's that level of beauty. Yes. Yes. If 
you keep traveling and, and get off Saratoga, you're going to see somebody prettier than you. Don't go to Barcelona, you'll never come out. They got twelves walking around there. You think I'm lying. Twelves. They got, man, boss, you better have you some Tracy around there. They got twelves. Okay, so that's the stripping belt. What's the other part? I'm going this for a reason. The protection. You protect him. You deliver, you protect him from porn. You protect him from everything that's trying to destroy your home. You are the protector. Write this down, I'm getting ahead of myself. You are his standard of beauty. He ain't got time to be bitter with you. He's too busy blowing your back out. You can't find that in the Bible. He got time to be bitter with you. If he's bitter with you, there's a misstep. Like she miscommunicated. There's a misstep. And you're a human being. You will have missteps, but then you get back in step. We're talking about long term. Okay? Let's not be bitter with you. Because if he's bitter with you, then there's mind fights. And she might be ugly, but, 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 but she knows how to apologize. Okay? She might be ugly. <laughs> huh? But she's sweet. Okay? And that's why that guy, that, that child a banger and sweet. So you know if women can't stand her. And then they meet her husband. Man, I got you. She's so tender though. I got you that child ready for hate a long time. You got women on her, grown women who don't like her right now. They were mad when she got married. On her job. Because ain't nobody married them. Should have came to Tuesday night class. So so she's a protection. Write yourself a note. He'll never be without protection. I made Debbie Foster, Bishop Foster's wife, cry. I'm going to cry at, at, at Bonefish on, uh, on, uh, on Sunday. I made her cry. I said, Debbie, I can tell you this. I've heard people say you've handled stuff heavy-handed uh, or heavy-handed, and there's things you might have went overboard, but it's better than being overboard than letting him go unprotected. And that girl dropped her head and started, man, she fought back tears. Like, I know I maybe didn't handle everything correctly, but I handled it. I handled it. Anytime she thought a heifer was going to try to roll up on him, here she come, one way or another. <laughs> I'm going to get you, sucker. <laughs> uh, and, 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 and all men that love women need protection. Read. What else you got? The Akzar, what's the other part? Oshar, wealth. Right? Oshar, wealth, wealth, wealth. Uh, look, look, look at uh, La Lavelle. He done married. Boy, if your stuff get to Walmart, you won't be sitting in the back of that church. Uh, look at look at that. Her creations. Well, well, well. A wealth of knowledge, a wealth of wisdom. Okay, all I gotta do is quit listening to that stupid stuff or watch that stuff on TV and listen to some NPR. Oh, you don't need to hear about no bang bang from Nicki Minaj. You got here from bang bang. <laughs> stupid song. Uh, half those folk gay and twisted anyway. They just as pornographic, they just as twisted, perverted. You let them bang, bang all day. You better get you some NPR. Get you some wisdom. You better find out Obama's the president now. And the Berlin Wall done went down. <laughs> what else? Did we have wealth. Huh? The Otzar, O T Z A R, the storehouse. Whatever he likes, whatever, because like a glass, like a glass, Erica, whatever he runs out of because of life bumping into him, pressure bumping into him, trying to build a family together, bumping into him. When somebody texts me something and, and asked, was, you know, asked me uh, uh, what they wanted me to see without wasting their time, 
I didn't respond to them. I felt so embarrassed for them. I felt the embarrassment they should have felt. Are your family that far behind and you looking at something like this? Oh, man, I felt so embarrassed. I didn't respond. Like, man, it's Monday. I'm watching my football game. I didn't respond. Okay? Man, you don't never let the man you had baby by dip that low. Talk to him, Barlow. You don't never let him dip that low. Uh, if you tighten him up, you strengthen him up. You need to lead this family. You don't let nobody dip that low. Huh? Man, were they living off another man's legacy? You get your own. You'll never, you the storehouse. Huh? There's something in your breast besides milk. Huh? Oh, man, I got my favorite shirt on and I don't care. And now she done told me I like I'm 20. Man, it's a wrap now. Uh, you don't never let him get that low. He don't lose. He don't be with no banger like you and quit the cleaning company. Hey, Amen. You don't. You 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 dare to let him know he's great. He'll never. Am I helping somebody? You don't get that low. You don't get that low where you expect a handout and a ride and a push. You got me. I got power in my thighs. I got word. Did you know the roof of your mouth supposed to taste like wine? You don't get that low. Write yourself a note. I'm a storehouse. I got all his abilities, all his giftings. Anytime you let a man sink that low, that means secretly you've given up on him through disappointment. And that can happen. Never let no man get that low. Never. And you ain't got to, you ain't got to do it by being his mama. Uh, you do it because you've done a study on his mannerisms, everything. When he sleep, three wiggles he sleep, you in prayer. You are forced to be reckoned with. Huh? That's why men don't have babies because your thighs can push out seven pounds. You can walk around with a certain amount of pounds. When you're pregnant, you got 50% more blood. Come on now. Especially if you have kids. You don't allow him to be down, to always be a spectator, to always be a window shopper. Come in and buy something. If you got cash, you pre-approved. Notice, I only bless go-getters. They got a house, come get this sofa ain't nobody sat on. I've seen more Negroes on that sofa than ever been on that sofa. <laughs> uh, look at Cupcake, single mama, man, single mama. Oh, probably writing up some contract right now. I told her, go find you something, fit your house. Man, my, what I got in my garage is better than anything she done seen at that store. Come get it. Yeah. A storehouse. Uh, and that's the conversation you have in data collection. I'm a storehouse. You ain't going to dip low. You ain't going to be pitiful. I don't care about your daddy leaving you. I don't care about the raggedy men in your family. You got me. Amen. I'm going to birth your dreams and your children. You got to learn how to talk, sister. And you'll never be bitter with me. You can't be bitter with a mouth full of something. Got my favorite shirt on and I don't care. And I just found it. Forgot I bought it. That's a wife. A man cannot be bitter against her. If he's bitter against her, he's nuts. Uh, you done dipped into the uh, bipolar bin. You didn't dip into the bipolar being now. He can't be bitter against her. Uh, wealth, protection, also uh, 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 the guideline, part of that, that one is guideline. She doesn't let him go out of bounds. His boundaries. All right.
right? Uh, he ain't he ain't an airline pilot trying to be a cook. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave this hundred twenty thousand dollar a year job. I just I just want to work as Billy Jean. Oh no, you ain't. No, you ain't. Um, boundary. He know his giftings. Even when he's depressed, like, honey, don't worry, they're going to see your talent. As a matter of fact, all we're going to do is use their money anyway to get our investment. Don't worry about it. Just keep bringing that money home. Uh, I hope we got enough saved. How, you think, how much do you think we got saved? I think we got 3000 No, honey, we got 13000 Huh? Where the rest of that? First national breast. First national hanky. Huh? Well, ain't nobody going to break in. Got it stored away. Now, 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 y'all, now, now, y'all Catholic on me. Y'all look at y'all looking down. They call them none, not because they ain't getting none. Anyway, read. Oh, don't read. Yes, read. Go back. I, I'm, I'm, I can't. Did you get the fourth one? Yeah, we got, we got at czar, old czar, old czar. Right? We got them all. Four. So when you say wife, she's four things. You got to look for four things in one. Four things in one, Darnell. Four things in one. Huh? No, well, A Azar is not. Azar is the outline. Azar is the help me. They fall under that. That's all inclusive in Azar. Azar. Okay? All inclusive in. So there's four. There's a four in one. Right? Back to Genesis. Okay. Cleave means only in emergency. He wants her wherever he goes. You're not wanted wherever he goes. I'm going to do the math for you. You're a burden. You're a burden. Okay? You're a burden. We're not, even, even, I had one of my daughters, she's talking about, uh, he has a man cave. I said, you know how to mess a man cave up? And she put, he, 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 he. I bet he don't push her out. Huh? I tell you who it is, because right now, uh, uh, it, was, it was a tragedy. Uh, Keith Mills' mother passed. But but he, he is where the love affair, that's another reason why you marry the right person. Uh, that Lisa was there like Lisa was there like there were times he went to church changing bandages, feeding her and everything. Uh, watch this now. Here's the backstory. Even though a lot of times his mother wasn't in agreement with Lisa. Lisa said, it don't matter. That's principle. I'm not going to act ugly. So it took sickness for that woman to love her. Man, are you hearing me? That's a bona fide love affair. Huh? That she could have messed up with. She don't like me. It don't matter. That's your mama. I got this. Huh? There's a reason why people have up things other folk don't have. And that goes back to jealousy. People want what others have, but they don't want to put in. Okay? That's why you don't just marry anybody. When you lose your mama or your daddy, your life changes. Okay? You can't nobody insensitive, at war with them and all that old crazy stuff. And then look at her, even though that whatever the friction was, now that she's sick, it don't matter. I'm your wife, and that's your mama. I'm going to get it done. And now it matters because anytime that's the triangle, anytime somebody has to go through something by themselves, they married the wrong person. Joys multiplied. Sorrows what? Shared. Okay. I was talking to uh, Kenny and uh, uh, it was uh, Kenny and Trey John at, at Bonefish. Uh, she needed to hear some word. Bring my baby in. Yeah, yeah, she needed to hear some word. I know you love her. We all do. But she needs some word. She won't have a bunch of babies when she get married. And she'd be looking, yeah, you are. Yeah, right. Somebody going to be trying to bite those jaws. So glad she came back to the house of God. Amen. Sit, sit with May May. Sit with May May. 
somebody's wife, y'all. That child always been always up, uh, up. But not just pretty, she's clean. No, 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 no. This, 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 this child ain't, ain't. But they extend their right hand to her. That devil. Even though you gave that child some good advice, that child ain't ready. That child is not ready. That child got a bad attitude. You told her right. You told her what you expect. She got a bad attitude. I just ignore her. You told her right because you know. That's God's hand on you. You told her exactly right. I don't care about her attitude. Anything better than go looking for her little young body. Look at look what's going on in Gary, Indiana. They still finding bodies. But you're supposed to save that. Now you know that I'm right. You stay in the sanctuary, and that, somebody gonna come by and choose you. Uh, and that ain't that ain't flattery. That girl got. I, I knew it when we first took her to Texas. This child clean. This child can run a house. But when you don't see no example in that level of beauty, you tested. Well, the test is over. You flunked. You come back to the house of God. You forgiven and go in Jesus' name. Okay. I know you a special vessel. She's the light of her baby brother. She's a light. Somebody mistreats you and the way you've heard your mama get talked to and mistreated, your baby brother will kill somebody. And it'd be your fault him in the penitentiary. Because you loud man, you got to know what you have. And that girl got it, y'all. Got to know it. Finish up. I don't know where I left off. And they were both naked. Oh, they were both naked. That's right. They were both naked. Wasn't no need for no clothes. Huh? Wasn't no need just bouncing and flopping around. Huh? Naked and not ashamed, okay, and that is the goal when the man clear, with children, children gone, is to be naked and not ashamed, you can't be naked and not ashamed unless you have your own, everybody had temporary stuff, but, but, but not man, you have to have your own, a man wants his own, you want your own, so you can be, you can flop around the house, don't wear that, Saturday be a no clothes day, Huh? No, a no clothes day. Now, if you got kids, you send them over to something. Send them to TQ. Let her babysit. <laughs> huh? No, and it, no, for real. Uh, you understand we talking about lifetime partners? We're talking about lifetime partners. Right? Read. We're going to get to some heavy stuff. They were naked and not ashamed. Let's get to the heavy stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, yeah, that devil show up, of course, because he saw, man, he saw that he was a banger. So here he come. She, what she should have said was, uh, shut up. I, well, hold on, let me ask my husband. But she did. She got to running off the mouth, talking with no scripture, and the rest is history. Baby should have slid out. Now you open. <laughs> <laughs> and some of y'all be, <laughs> and ain't got a man in sight. How you do that? That level of pain. Okay. All right. Uh, let's get to the, the nasty stuff. This is not nasty. Song of Solomon. This is for why. Song of Solomon. Uh, and man, 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 every woman, you should go before God before you commit, take somebody's last name. Is this a real man? Is he on the down low? Is he a real man? Is he on the down low? Just because he had a lot of sex don't mean he's a real man. He might be trying to prove something to himself. Huh? Trying to prove something to himself. But secretly loves little boys. Secretly trying to see if he could fit a soap dish where he boo-boo at. Song of Solomon. That's on the podcast. 
I had to stop somebody from Sidini from coming to this church. Song of Solomon, chapter 6. Y'all ready? Chapter 6. Are y'all ready? Okay, the word you're going to learn is Maha Naim. Maha Naim. Maha Naim. It's a dance. It's a strip dance. Maha Naim. The dance of Maha Naim. M-A-H-A-N-A-I-M. M-A-H-A-N-A-I-M. A I M. Maha Naim. It's a strip dance. Maha Naim was the place where Jacob ran into a host of angels. Huh? So when the husband wants his soul, because you are his standard of beauty, and he wants you, you use all your 